Here I'd like to share with you some of the peripheral devices that I use in conjunction with After Effects so that I can get things into a comp. For example, digital camera, mice, tablets, that kind of thing. Now, my most used tool is an Intuos tablet, as you can see here, from a company called Wacom. This is the Intuos 5, but I use the Intuos 4, so this is the new one. This is a digital tablet, and think of it as a piece of paper that you can draw directly on with this guy here, which is a stylus. You can see here it comes in uh, several different sizes, and of course several different prices. I believe this one starts at like $249 or something like that, I can't quite remember, but check it out. If you don't have the budget for one of these guys, there is another one from the same company called a Bamboo. It's priced less expensively, but it will do the job for you. All right, so this is a Bamboo, as you can see here, stylus and a digital tablet. I use the Intuos, I would say 90% of the time when I'm working because I used to have a problem with developing carpal tunnel syndrome in my wrist. So using a tablet and a stylus really alleviates a lot of the strain. So if you have a problem with your wrist and you're wearing bracers and gloves and all kinds of stuff, you might want to check out a tablet, whether it's Wacom or another brand. Now, how do you get things into After Effects as far as images, videos? Well, of course I suggest a digital camera, such as an iPhone or iPad, an SLR camera, or anything that you prefer to use so that you can have some way of taking pictures of content or video or whatever and interfacing it with your computer in some fashion whether USB or Firewire or what I like to do email it to myself from the device itself and then bring it into After Effects. So what I like to do as well is I like to sketch on paper sometimes take a picture with the iPad email that picture to myself and then bring it into After Effects. I bypass the scanner altogether. As a matter of fact, my scanner is on the floor and I haven't used it for about a year and he's kind of crying a little bit. Don't cry, man. So that's another device I want to suggest to you. Some kind of device like this, iPhone, iPad, tablet. For those of you guys who really don't want to deal with a tablet, you might want to use a traditional mouse. But nothing I do is traditional. So I like to use a mouse like this. This is a company called Razer, and this particular mouse is called the Naga, which is named after a snake. All their mice are named after snakes, and their keyboards are named after spiders, so I'm already into this company. This Naga mouse has 12 buttons on the side and more buttons on the top, and you can program these buttons to do whatever you need, which is pretty sweet if you ask me. I'll go to the gallery here and just show you a little bit more of what this mouse looks like. So imagine, you know, taking some of the programming that you would put on your After Effects keyboard and just put them here and use your thumb to tap the buttons that you need to access certain tools. So guys, once again, that is a quick look at some of the devices I use in my workflow so that I can get stuff into After Effects so I can work on it and do all kinds of cool things to it.